Yeah, one of the technologies that we are trying to develop is a technology where you use a, a very strange nano liquid, which can assume all kinds of different densities. Uh, and then we let all the different plastics float at a different level in the liquid. Uh, when you have an ordinary liquid like water, then plastic flakes either float or sink. For example, PVC or PET sinks and polyethylene, for example, floats. But you can make very strange liquids where plastic flakes not just float or sink, but they can be at a certain height in the middle. And depending on the density of those polymers, they float at a different height. And by doing that, you can, in, say, in one single process, you can uh, split plastic waste into many different polymers. And the other technology uh, that we are looking at is a technology where indeed um, we're trying with very fine structures, micro robots, only 250 microns in width, uh, to manipulate plastic flakes in, in space. So uh, the idea is that if you have thousands of these robots in a row, you can pick out precisely the flake that you want, the red polyethylene flake, for example, and turn it into the, uh, into the bin uh, that will then go to the manufacturer that uses precisely that kind of plastics. Well, one of the problems that, that we do have is that, on the one hand, uh, when you develop these kind of innovations, uh, you use a lot of physics. And what is possible in physics is, in the end, possible in technology. But there's one step in between. You have to make it. And for that, we need all kinds of strange small machines that nobody has ever made yet. And that is quite a job to, uh, to find people that can make those, uh, those kind of equipment. Well, we, are now, we are now very close to the point that we can, can demonstrate the technology. Uh, we're trying to make a, a first prototype now that can produce three tons per hour of sorted plastics. Uh, and, and that is a small-scale plant uh, from, from waste. Uh, and I hope that uh, I will be able to show it. I, um, I think uh, the market will accept this at a, at a rate uh, where people see success. So what we see now is that all kinds of big companies, they phone us and they ask where we are and if they can join. I think if those big companies have shown that it's, it's possible, that we can indeed turn uh, old products into new products again, made of plastics, then I think the rest of the market will follow.